Hey guys, Tim Mitchell here, uh, continuing the Build a Blog series that we've began. Starting today, we're going to speak on creating new pages. Now, at this point, you have installed, you have optimized with certain plugins, you've created the pages that you want, and now we're going to talk about posts. We're going to create all our posts, our real content, and our updating content of our website. So here's our website again, and we're going to enter the blog. We're going to go again, WP Admin. That's going to take us to the dashboard and the uh, administration panel. This time, last time we went to pages, this time we're going to go to posts. Okay, we're going to one is update this Hello World post with some fresh content that I had and one thing I advise is always come up with some fresh good content, some high quality content for yourself okay insert that you can just like Microsoft Word if you can do it in Word and you can do it there you know this guy's got a bold this is a link. This is a link. Okay, now the difference between let's see, and this one we're gonna call this one find a find the Tulsa XEO expert. Okay. Remember if you ever change the title, just click edit, highlight all that and clear it out, and it'll create a new one. So we've created our post excerpt. It's going to just pull an excerpt. Allow comments. Okay, we're going to trash this comment because it was just a WordPress generated comment. And we're going to say Okay, get a Tulsa XEO expert in your business today. Call me 918-951-2210. All right, we're also calling a Tulsa XEO expert in this one. And we like social. Now, here's what's different about a page. A page to a post, what's different? Tags and categories. So let's say... articles because we like that so you could have like an article section and a video section you could also do so let's do that audio video and let's go This is an advice. So it's it's a it's an article and a marketing advice because it tells people how to find an SEO expert in their business. What to look for, some of the things to look for, some of the things to avoid. So you want to have two two to three categories and then you want to have two to three, maybe five tags. Tags are your keywords. Tell us the SEO expert. That's what I want one of them to be. Okay, you can either skip, you can comma separate them and it'll set them up like that. So we have that right there. I like that. Um, you can put an image in there. Images are always cool. And if you want to put an image in, you can just click right here, add an image. You can add one from your computer, or you can add one from a URL, 
or you can add one from your media library. So I'm going to add something from there. I'm going to say okay I'll put that picture in, save the changes and now I'm going to put um, and enter into thumbnail post you can do how you want to center it you can do left with the words and enter into post and so there you go I like it okay now you're gonna push update now we can go to our website and here's our new post everything's clickable this is gonna take you over to this website okay everything you should check all your links make sure that they're clickable okay now the one thing else you can do also is you can do this if you want to check and if you want to say drip feed some content or post something later so you have time on Monday but you don't want to post everything on Monday because you want to post three or four times a week so you can click edit this visibility not visibility I'm sorry status and you can push no that's not it either I'm sorry I'm sitting here and it's went kind of silly there you can click published on and you can change this to so you can change it to the 28th okay now it just scheduled it so you can schedule now you come back you refresh this page it's gone but on the 28th at this particular time 1739 that's what 540 and 540 in the afternoon on the 28th it'll post and so what you can do is to come in here and put up three say do it on Monday morning write three or four articles Monday morning post them on here and get them all scheduled for all week and then you're taken care of I want to keep this thing so I have something on there because I need some content on this website so I just post it for now I can always come back and write some more articles and post on there and then that's really about it as far as making a page make sure that you're checking your your uh, tags and your and your um, categories otherwise it's exactly the same as making a post and a page if you can do Microsoft Office and you can do this so if you're ready to learn to market your business online with more free videos and free reports go sign up today at online Tulsa marketing.com that's online Tulsa marketing.com I have a ton of great videos free reports and free uh, guides that I'll just freely give you just sign up at online tulsa marketing dot com and I will speak with you soon.